Hello and welcome to this launch session for Ektaris 22.1, our latest version. My name is Martin Kratke, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Ektaris and I'm super excited to show you what we've got coming. Initially, I would like to thank our customers and partners for a fantastic uh, cooperation in 2021. A lot of their input um, and feedback has uh, been included in this new version. We are also very proud to have been named Best New Vendor last year by BPM Partners, the independent analyst group uh, in our industry that compared uh, all major technology providers. The improvements in version 22.1 revolve around our three core principles. Fastest time to benefit, smart and effective. Let's start with smart first. The Caris 21.2 includes major improvements under the hood that are further improving what has already been one of the fastest planning engines on the planet for complex, large user scale enterprise scenarios. For example, our new multi-update algorithm is improving processing times by more than a factor of 10. So if you're doing a lot of uh, write-backs on a lot of different aggregated cells, for example, with copy and paste operations or other typical planning use cases where the system has to write back uh, a lot of data uh, down the different dimension hierarchies for a lot of cells, this used to take um, a few minutes. Now this has come down to seconds, so a massive improvement with this new algorithm. Another uh, aspect that will make uh, implementation times much faster is the new Ectaris App Store that we call Rapid Results Packs. On our website you can already access the initial version of the App Store with some sample applications. Uh, these include services and processes uh, from software as a service um, templates uh, to procurement analytics uh, and specialized solution, for example, for farming. And if you click on um, any of these apps, you will get an overview of the particular solution. And you can even view a interactive life report with a sample of this application template. And these templates typically include the data model, the logic, the workflows, and of course, the reports and planning forms. So here we see now an interactive live demo. Um, where I see now typical software as a service metrics and I can go through in this case 15 different sample reports that include these software as a service um, metrics and um, also data entry and planning forms that cover the typical requirements for example cost of acquisition, lifetime customer value, churn rates and so on. This also includes predictions into the future where you can see what are the uh, coming revenues based on the current contracts and a lot of other things. And in a similar vein, um, you have the details for the other apps um, in the Ectaris uh, Rapid Results uh, App Store. Um, and this will be dramatically extended in the coming months, not just um, from our own development teams, but uh, in particular from our partner team um, that includes you know, 35 uh, very competent partners across the globe that are developing their own uh, apps for particular subject matter areas uh, or industry scenarios, and they will be listed here as well. We have already one here that is very successful for procurement planning from an Austrian partner. We also have a special video just covering that if you're interested in our video library on YouTube. And uh, stay tuned, there will be much more coming and a very attractive proposition also for the partners. They can white label these apps and they can generate um, additional revenue streams and package software and consulting services. One of the absolutely new and groundbreaking features is the new Ectaris Hub. This is a completely new development where we bring all data integration paths that were previously separate together in one area uh, in the Ectaris model. And the best thing is probably to see this live. So I will switch switching now to the new Ectaris Hub. So you see here, this is a new option in the Ectaris model. And you can see now all the different aspects of the data log process are now here uh, in one environment. 
I can add new connections. For example, if I click here on new, I can add a new connection with all the different sources that we support. So you can see here now generic enterprise data sources. You can see there carries apps like uh, Zero and uh, also all the other software as a service application uh, that uh, we at the moment support in the carries. Um, you will soon see there will be much more coming, but um, we'll cover this a little bit later on. So initially I can manage my connections here. I can manage the dimension loads. So how I want to structure my dimensions based uh, on these data sources. For example, if I click on a dimension here, I can edit this dimension. And dimension means, in essence, a relevant part of a source for your application purposes. Typically for planning requirements. So here we can see now this particular source. We see that um, based on the color coding, uh, this is a link dimension. So that is linked to a source system and will be automatically updated. So this means you automatically update some columns of this source system, but you can add other columns that are either calculated or that you want to maintain yourself. And you can edit all this um, directly here uh, in the modeler, either with a free text or with the validation options that we have from you know, date pickers to um, connected dimension to icon sets to images to URLs, all these things are possible here. So those are the dimensions. Then we have a similar thing for the actual data load. So here we see now the data load. I can open this here. For example, if I want to edit a data load. So here I see now the particular cube name and the dimensions that are mapped to relevant columns of this fact data table. So this is the loading of data obviously i can edit all this and then this is part of uh, profiles and schedules that are then automatically executed on the server so here we can see you now the jobs where i can um, combine different uh, other aspects of the loading process and then schedule the execution of these jobs so the data of your source systems is then automatically updated either from the apps or from the generic enterprise sources as you saw before. Another big improvement uh, that makes the deployment much faster is the completely automated Power BI data model deployment. Here I can connect uh, to Power BI with my username and password. Now I see the available workspaces for this user, so I can tick this. This has to be a premium per user or premium workspace. And now I can select a particular data cube. I can see now that automatically the dimensions of data cube of that data cube are selected. Equally, the relationships. So here I can also edit the relationships. So I can see the relationships that are automatically created. If I want to edit them, I can edit them. For example, uh, to the direction. For example, to one directional or the cardinality. And all these aspects, uh, most importantly also the users, so for example all your users that you have already added to carries, you can specify them here that you also want to automatically create them in your Power BI workspace. You can click on finalize setup and this will be then automatically deployed to your workspace. So you can completely automate the Power BI deployment. This also includes the generation of DAX calculations. So Caris is the only solution at the moment that allows you to edit DAX calculations directly from a web browser. So in Power BI, you just add the new token that was automatically deployed as well. So you can just drag this here, put the fields of the cube that I want to use. I've published this exchange rate cube here. So if I want to now use the month in the columns and the currency rates in the rows. I have this now automatically here. So here I can now immediately edit my number. So for example, if I want to make this now 0 0.7, I can save this. Now this value has been saved back to the, to the database. So you see how easy it is now to 
publish your data directly into Power BI. The other option where we've added now new features is Power BI Sync. So if you already have your model in Power BI, if you want to use your model in Power BI, Power BI Sync, which is an external tool that you can just download from the Keras download area, it takes a minute to install. And with this tool, you can automatically turn your Power BI model in, into an Actarius model, which means, in essence, you can completely write enable all parts of your, of your model. And the new thing that we've added now in version 2.1 is that you can also do this for cube loads. Previously, it was just the dimensions, so for example, dimension tables for products, accounts, uh, month, and so on. Now you can also load the data, for example, if you have actuals that you want to load into the Acarius cube, you can do this. Although, to be honest, normally it's not necessary because you can just use the actuals from your existing Power BI model and then just add the uh, write-back uh, data, for example, the scenarios for budgeting, uh, plans, forecasts into your existing Power BI reports and then you have your actual data from your existing model and your plan data from the Acarius model. So they don't have to be loaded, but if you want to load the information from your models also in the Acarius database, and there could be reasons for that, then you can, you can do this here as well. Another new thing um, in Acarius Power BI Sync is the option now for PDF reporting, so you can automate the PDF distribution of your Power BI reports with this tool. And here we've added now the option that you can also customize the email text. So when the users receive an email, you can use variables um, for receiving these reports. So a great way, for example, for accountants to distribute reports to their clients, completely automated. You can schedule this and send out PDF reports uh, customized for the particular user automatically in a given interval. There are also major improvements with uh, the Acarius apps. The Acarius apps are end-to-end -end solutions for particular source systems that include uh, the automated model. Uh, we uh, deploy it uh, automatically in one of the most scalable data platforms and secure data platforms, uh, Azure SQL, that, is become, that comes as a part of Acarius. And so we not just give you a consolidated data model, for example, if you have multiple entities in these systems, so you can get a holistic view of all the different entities in these systems, but we also give you the application logic. So for example, um, financial uh, logic like foreign exchange handling, consolidation like intercompany elimination, and the users profit from ready-made um, but still fully customizable, fully customizable analytical applications in Power BI and Excel. So what the users in the end get is a application, you saw one example before, uh, that includes best practice uh, reports and planning forms for these different systems. You can even combine different systems together. So uh, in addition to the uh, apps that we already have, at the moment uh, we have eight that are also listed on AppSource, so they are quality checked and, and secure. Uh, we will launch two new ones. Uh, NetSuite was already launched um, last month, but we will launch two new ones. One is Counter, a point of sale application, and the other one is Deputy. But this is not all. So this will be just coming this month, but there will be much more coming in the pipeline. So here we see now uh, an overview of the Acarius apps and you see now we have here now about 60 new uh, solutions that we're aiming to support. Uh, you know, we've built this uh, new platform where we can implement these uh, integrations to software as a service systems reasonably quickly. And for those that we don't have already, um, prospects can express their interest and just click on a button here and then we will add the solutions that we don't have so you see the ones we have have got the green button the ones that uh, are not yet deployed um, are black and um, but we will or the users will now be able to express interest and then we will prioritize uh, the development of new apps based on the interest covered here. So when you have time, check out uh, all these solutions that um, 
we are aiming to support um, in the coming quarters. So this will all happen not tomorrow, but this will take some time. But this is uh, on the list and we are aiming to support all these solutions with our end-to-end -end apps that include the data model, logic, workflow, and the reports and, and planning forms. So, and finally, we get to the smart side. And the smart side, uh, of course, is uh, part of our Power BI offering. So we have now eight Power BI custom visuals. On the Power BI visual side, we've uh, added again uh, dramatic improvements to the eight published um, Power BI visuals, um, particular in matrix and table edit and reporting. So matrix, table edit and reporting. These are also the most widely used um, visuals. And I'll qu quickly show you what the changes there are. So here we see now the Acaris uh, matrix uh, visual uh, that allows you to use very comprehensive planning features on your data uh, directly in, in Power BI. And previously, the options here were available for shortcuts. So if you want to add uh, some number to an, an existing value, you used A. If you want to do a relative increase, you used I and so on. And we are changing this now so that we have uh, context menus here. So, you can, so instead of using the shortcuts, you can now click on add here and then enter your value. And this will be then automatically distrib distributed to the children here or to a particular value. Same with relative increase and so on. The other option here is, uh, you can see this is even a model dialogue, is the new splash feature, splash-like feature, which is super cool. So for example, I've got my value here for 2020-0101 and I want to apply now a particular uh, distribution, for example, from the previous year and I can just en enter my value here and then just uh, I want to use the value from 19 uh, from this quarter uh, and the name. And uh, otherwise I want to use the, maybe let's just make this actual as well. So I want to use this distribution to distribute the new value. I can now just click on splash like and see now uh, within a second that the value was entered and if I do the drill down here I can see now the distribution that I have uh, applied uh, is uh, visible here. So a super cool way to enter planning data according to uh, existing distribution and gives you complete flexibility. So anything that is in your model, you can use here with this splash-like um, scenario. Other options that we've added is now copy and paste. So you've got very powerful copy and paste options. You've got the comments that's not um, that new, um, making this um, you know very powerful uh, visual to use uh, in your planning process. So here we can see now the table edit visual, uh, a very powerful way to edit tables uh, directly in Power BI. So you can use images here. You can use um, validation so that you can only enter data in particular from a particular list, which is a link dimension in the carries. And you also have the option to use icon sets. So for example, I can use uh, a particular icon set uh, and then apply this here and as you saw also uh, grid editing so you can edit any part here and then when you finish just click on uh, save and then this will be saved back automatically to the database of course including all the audit trail features that it carries uses where you can exactly see who changed what when. This is also an important part in our new ESG uh, template ESG for economic, social and governance the new way of reporting beyond financial details where it can be very useful to use icon sets uh, for example for you know energy efficiency and other areas and here you have the option to completely flexible set this up exactly as you need it. So and this brings me now to the final visual which is um, a carries reporting an extremely uh, successful visual that has been downloaded thousands of times um, in the last few months which allows you to do financial reporting um, exactly uh, the way it's needed so you can define your own subtotal calculation you can format the way you can format the report exactly as you need it you have all the uh, power bi features like um, uh, tool tips 
and uh, the calculations you can easily edit here. So, for example, a gross margin calculation is revenue plus cost of goods sold plus expenses. So you can edit all these uh, directly as you need them just by clicking on a particular detail and set up the calculations as you need it without any DAX knowledge. What's new now is that um, so also the IBCS uh, visualizations are here. So you have the option to switch between absolute, relative and waterfall charts. And as a super cool new feature in the new version, you can also uh, specify directly on the front end what you want to calculate. So for example, here we have uh, multiple companies. So this is listed uh, company financials. And if I want to now calculate um, the current results from Adobe against the results from McAfee, I can just put in here one, one to four, and then automatically calculate the difference between these two columns. So you have the option to set the column calculations or the column variances uh, completely flexible across all columns um, in your model. In this case, uh, uh, we also have, this is one of the templates for financial reporting, one of the apps that um, is also in the App Store. We have even the link back uh, to the, um, the underlying data. So I can see you know, uh, how does the data compare to the underlying data in the underlying data source here. So this uh, concludes a uh, little overview of uh, what's coming with uh, Keras 22.1. And I also want to give you a little bit of an outlook into the future. So we're working on really exciting stuff, particularly around constraint satisfaction planning, where you can set as many constraints as you like. You can lock cells and you can then also run very advanced gold seek operations based on the constraints uh, that you've added um, to the model. We're also working on knowledge-based recommendation systems that combine human knowledge um, and uh, machine learning, so it will automatically detect um, interesting insights, for example, in the accounting space, you know, what creates uh, anom an anomalies, what creates likely uh, incorrect um, entries in the accounting system. And it will, on the one hand, combine the human knowledge where you can add these rules as a human, so what is typically uh, a problematic uh, transaction. And then uh, the system will add um, machine learning uh, to make the, the process more intelligent. So the system will suggest um, anomalies or interesting findings based on, on these rules. And then the human can say, yes, this is uh, useful or this is not useful. And based on that, it will, it will learn and improve the forecast. We're also adding um, new options for calculations so to free the users from having to know DAX or SQL calculations so to make it easier to have an editor where you can very easily define rules, particularly between models. So if you want to connect different models together and do them directly in the modeler in, uh, in as easy as possible way. So I hope you enjoyed the launch session for version 22.1. In case you're not a user yet and you want to try it out, please go to our website and start a free onboarding session that is supported by our competent customer success team. And without further ado, I would like to open up the floor now to your questions.